Hello YouTube and welcome to our 67, 76 Unity 3D tutorial. Um, last tutorial we made it so that we could change the colour of the cape and I can't remember which user you are but I'm sorry but you one a user suggested that maybe when you're choosing the genders that a light pops up above the gender that you've selected which sounds really cool so I'm going to um, attempt it. So what I'm going to do first is because the Unity's lighting system is glitching I'm just going to delete this light here so it looks a tiny bit better and then what I'm going to do is grab a spotlight from over here duplicate it and drag it over here take it out and I'm just going to mess with it a minute so like 90 degrees so it's facing directly down on them and I'm just going to place it on top of this guy here and just drag it all the way in I just want him to be like lit up when it's on him no one else so if we turn the intensity up, say 1.2, about 2. What's that look like? Hmm. Yeah, that'll do. He's in complete darkness. He's not. Um, what we could try as well, depending if it looks nice, is edit um, and then preferences. Not edit and preferences. Edit render settings. And in here we can choose the ambient light. So if we just ah. Uh, one minute. I just need to fix my start bar because it glitches a bit, which is annoying. So now that that's fixed, back to edit render settings and choose that one. If I drag this down here, you can choose a color box. And if you watch while I edit the colors, we can have it like we can make the lights really show what we're looking at, which looks. I might keep it like that actually. What's that look like here? So you can basically see him. Let's have it. Let's give it a test and see what it looks like. That looks okay. I'm going to keep it like that. But the one change I'm going to make is I'm going to zoom back in here, grab this spotlight, and move it across a bit so you can see. Is it this spotlight? No, that one doesn't even need to exist. I'm going to grab this spotlight here then and move it across. There we go. And for this light here, I'm just going to stretch it out a bit. Uh, maybe turn up the intensity some more. What's that look like? So we can see it there, but we can't see it when it's in full screen. We can see him, so that's do for the, for that. Yeah. So I'm going to call this female spotlight. That'll do. And also, what I'm going to do is duplicate it, drag it over the male's head. and then deactivate the game object so we can't see him at all now but when you click him you will be able to see him kind of so which one was it this one we'll call this male spotlight like so so we're going to drag it into the following ones so whenever we move it so say if we move the male one the spotlight well we'll move the female one so you can actually see it the spotlight will follow him so yeah we're going to open up our gender select script and we'll create two variables var um, what should we call it male spotlight this will be a game object and we'll duplicate that and call it female female spotlight there we go so in here if male is true then male spotlight dot game object equals true dot set active true let's see if this set active works now so we'll make the second one false and make the female spotlight false however if the female is true we will make the female spotlight true and the male one false let's see if it likes dot set dot set active yet oh it seems to like it so we can begin using set active now like unity wants us to so where's our male spotlight? Boom. And our female spotlight? Boom. Right, let's give it a test. No variable male spotlight has been assigned. So that's probably because we need to assign it here. So we will click our male one again and assign it to male and assign our female. 
it's generally best practice to not have to assign it um, the same variable to multiple ones but in this case it doesn't really matter because it's working so try that click 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 so that's perfect we can see them roughly we'll eventually get the trend more working so that we need to decide shall we keep the light when we move on hmm let's have a look what it looks like without the light Select these two lights and disable them. And let's try it again. Oh dear, there's absolutely no lights now. But I'm beginning to light that spotlight. So, delete the other spotlights and then that's what I'm going to do. You don't have to do it, but I'm just going to put a basic kind of light on because we do need some kind of light. So I just put this spotlight on. What's this one? We don't need that one. But this one, I'm going to create a little bit of a spotlight because we just need a spotlight. And the range will be 100. So now we have some light so we can see the outline of the other character. There we go. And Unity's lighting engine is working, liking this one perfectly. Um, in order to fix the head scales, all we're going to do is assign the same scales to the character, to the head armor and stuff, than what the character is. It's really simple. Um, so we've got a lot of variables to assign. We should have done it while we do it. Next tutorial, we'll need to get them variables done before we can actually carry on, else we'll mess up. But what we will be working on is something new, really, something out of the blue, so I'll do a video on how I create the female one for anyone who would like to see it, you don't have to, it won't be part of the Unity series, so keep a lookout, um, and that's it, so quick tutorial, hope you liked it, see you next time.